But they're talking about the cottage. Yeah, the one cabin. Yeah. They weren't cabin. Well, how did that come about? I remember years ago, and Bally Connor used to tell me about mud wall cabin. And i done a lot of research. Eight years I spent doing research, going out to Glen Devlin and all like that, and finding out the history of the cabin. Now, it has never been built since and for many years before. And in doing the research, with the help of many people, I've acquired the knowledge that a lot of people were, doesn't have, never had, for that reason. And I can explain it to you now. First of all, when we went out to Glen, I met a man, and he said to me, his aunt came back from India, and she built a small, little small log cabin, mud wall cabin. Yeah. Also, he said, nowadays, he said, the people talk about the hula hoop. The hula hoop was out for hundreds of years. I said, why? When she came back, she got a black thorn stick and she heated it in hot water and she bent it round. And when she went down to the well to bring carry water, buckets of water, she put the hoop round and dropped it down and the buckets would not hit her on the leg. Because if yeah. you're carrying two buckets, yeah, you have to keep it out. Yeah. So in Africa, they do it the opposite way. They put a thing on your back and that takes the, and all you have to do is keep it out from yeah. here. Yeah. But this was the hula hoop. Then the black tongue secret, but, so we tried it out here with two buckets of sand. And sure, if you drop the hoop down and lift up the buckets, you could walk. There was no stress on you. Oh, All you yeah. had to do was hold up. If the stress is against it, it's put it out. So we don't research on the on the, uh, the on on the mud wall house, and this is what how we done it. We went round and we met different people who done it. In the ancient days, a cottage, and the difference between a cottage now and a cabin. A cottage had plans. The man knew where the window was going to be put up. Okay, yeah. but. On a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a cabin, you didn't. You had to use the material. In the olden days, now, if you were living in a farm estate or anything like that, and that you grew up in the morning and you could build a house from sunrise until sunset and go live in it, you're entitled to squatters' rights. So every mud wall cabin had different material because you had to use the material in the area. So what they used to do now, they used to do build it with with timber and stones on, but this is how we done it. You went out and you opened a trench in the ground and you fill it with stones and you put the stones above the ground so that the dampness wouldn't crawl up into the set. And then they went out and they got clay and they mixed the clay with the rushes, chopped up rushes and clay and the cattle and all would walk through it to mix it up, sour it, mm -hmm. because then, when they get that then, they would put it on the wall and they would put rushes, long rushes, right across the next layer and the next layer would be chopped rushes and clay. So when the pressure came on, the rushes, rushes had to, yeah. got the water to come from the inside. And you couldn't do it with straw because there's a little cushion in the rushes. And when the rushes wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to put the, the clay wouldn't, so you put, and then it, it you built rushes right all the way across and then the rushes the water would run out to do it when you come yeah. then then you come one layer after the other right yeah on the end of the house then you go up a certain height and they go out and they get either either the, the tops of of of, of the sod of of, uh, of of the bog or sod around and they build the sods on top for the end of the house now they built the house had to build the houses uh, not facing the east wind because the east wind was very dangerous in the olden days because the east wind from to Ireland came across from Russia to England and all that over. When the east wind came, it wasn't that it was very cold alone, but it brought all the diseases from Russia. If you look at the map, you'll see yeah. uh, Russia and England, all the diseases came, it came with the east wind. That's why the east wind was very dangerous. Now, so then you came along then and you went out and you got bog oak. Now, there's only one man that alive around that came with us, and that's Mickey Connerty. Now, when you went out to the bog, 
in the bog, went out, and we were told, and it was true, that in the summertime the bog absorbs the heat. Right? The bog goes absorbs the heat. As soon as the first cold comes in October, the heat is still coming up, but the cold air hits it, and that's where you form a mist. Mm -hmm. But anywhere that there's timber in the bog, there's no, the heat will not go down below the timber. So therefore, there's no heat to come back up. So if you went out to the bog, you may not think that this is possible, but as young people you went out and see, you can see, you'll ask Nicky Connor, do you tell you, that we were able to go out to a place and we knew that there was timber there. We didn't know how long it was, but we took it up and we dug it up, Mickey brought it in on the, on the tractor, and we had to, to, to do, to preserve timber, what you have to do, bog oak, that's in the ground a long time, you have to dry it gradually. And the way that we had to do it was we got a, a chain and a stick and we got, we got wax, we got wax and paraffin oil. Now wax and paraffin oil is in the shoe. If you get a, a tin of polish and you open it and leave it open, it'll dry as hard as could be. Yeah, that's right. But it's the paraffin oil. It's the oil, was in the, we use paraffin oil, they're probably yeah. the chemicals are a different name today. But you could, uh, it was, when they put, when you lifted up the timber, you had to paint on the, the, the paraffin oil and the wax, and the, wax, the paraffin oil brought the wax down to hit the water and then it stopped. So yeah. as the timber dried, as the timber died, died, the, dried, uh, uh, the wax, they kept doing it and doing it till, the, the, till you find the wax coming out on the meat. And oh, then it yeah. was sealed because the wax took the place of the water. But it, it was a slow process. So we yeah. had the timber across. So the timber that was in the cottage, when the cottage burned down, which is a different story, yeah. it was so that the fire had no effect on it. When they took away the cottage, the timber was still there because the, the wax took the place of the water. And if you have t timber, the boats, they took the boats out of, out, of, uh, um, out of one of the lakes. And I said it some, from experience, not my, I said, so they left them there, they all cracked. You know, the, the timber will, 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 same as you put a loaf of bread in an oven and you put on heat, they will crack open because, yeah. but this, the wall dried from the inside out. Not from the, because the wall, the round was wall, yeah. the wall was round, yeah. the pressure to a cam yeah. from outside all the time. We we'll stick at the wall for a few minutes. So when it was done then, you pegged all the timber and you, and you, you so you put, you went out to the bog and you got the head rough, the, the sod and you put it, uh, turned upside down, you put it on the roof and then you had a needle and you, you got hairy Ned and you had a belly inside and you sewed in you put on the hatch and he was inside and he put the, he, he shoved the needle back out and you'd shove it back in oh, yeah. over the ribs of the building. Yeah. It was all done. But now when you had the, the hatch on, we say the hatch on, uh, you come along and you've got cow manure and clay and you mix the cow manure and clay and you put it on the wall outside and eventually then you put, we'll say three to one, three to you put uh, three of, of, of clay and one of camellure, but the next coal you put two and two until one and one, you just put the cow. And once the camellure was on, it sealed the wall. Once the water didn't get in at the top, all the rain could bash against it and it wouldn't do any harm. When we were doing this with a man from England, he was building houses in England, and he yeah. said that they were using pig manure to seal the chimneys with another chemical. So they, they used it to seal the chimneys when the... Yeah. Or, or they used to burn fresh timber in the, the seal the, the chimney and that's what they used to do in the old days, they sealed the chimney. Yeah. So what happened was then, so that the mud wall cap was done with, see the, the, the dampness wouldn't climb up because it's the stones stone. was above the ground, they had to be above the ground. Yeah. Now inside they put clay on the floor and in, up at the very front you heard I heard the hard stone wasn't under the fire, it was out on the middle of the floor, out of the bit on the floor, and they used to put flags across it, and they used to put coarse heads, they used to put different things, that they got the echo of the shoes dancing on the hard stone. You often hear the song, yeah. dancing on the hard stone. You have to find out that the hard stone is, I always thought it was in at the fireplace. No, there's a way out. And they used to put pots, lids, a pot, later on in years to come. Now what they don't know what the clay was, they put clay on the floor, right? And, the, and, and when they put the clay on the floor, it will crack 
natural enough to be trying. And they go to the bed of the river at that time and they get sand and the bed of the river, they draw the sand, and they sweep it up and down. And the idea was that when the sand would go down the cracks, if milk spins later on, it would go down the cracks. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So otherwise, if you left it, yeah. if you filled the cracks with clay, yeah. your flow would be, you wouldn't be able to walk on it. Yeah. It'd be so yeah. slippy. Yeah. You know? So you had to put bushes, as you used to do when the gaps come through from one gap to another. You used to get out and get, get uh, black torn bushes and put them down and put sads on it. But there were no pipes in those days, so they had to yeah. do the same. Uh, it, it, it went down deep, they'd put bushes in the, underneath and then they put the clay on top of it. Yeah. But the black thorn would never rot. Black thorn would never rot. So, so that keep everything together. Yeah, together. Yeah. Black thorn would let uh, the, the flow. And then you had the, the, you had then, you had the half door. And the door was, was always never towards the east because it's so cold. And <coughs> I went to a house one time many years ago and I seen the roller on the door. And I said, no, I said, what is what you said? In the olden days, they used to have thread when they used to the rollers. They used to get, you know, they put, catch all them and put a, a stick through them. Now I don't know why. If you have a half door, a hen will jump up in the door. She'll never fly in. And the roller will go round and the hen would fall back out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you close the half door. So, yeah. uh, in other words, if a board flies into your shed, it's going to fly into something uh, horizontal. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be lying. So they used to have ways, there was men who had, had, had sheds full of oats and the board wouldn't come in and, and land because they'd fly in immediately and they'd land on something to be heard, it would go round so they'd fly back out again. So then, yeah. another thing we done was the end wall of the house, which was, there was, this is hard to explain to you, but there was, there was, a, inside the house, there was one opening in the bedroom, but outside there was two openings, if you can visualize, there was one that direction like that there, and yeah. there was one here, and the, they met a little bit back in. The idea was, if the wind was coming from that side, they could put a bag of hay there, but there'd be enough air coming from this side. All right. This was the, if you look at some of the ancient buildings around, you'll see a slot. Yeah. And one slot would be one direction, and the other one would be the other direction. But when you we had the two slots in the end of the the, the cabin, there was enough light. There was enough light coming in, coming in with yeah. the with the whiteness of the inside, because yeah. they used to burn lime. You could get a limestone and burn it. Yeah. Everybody burn it, and you could. Uh, uh, White in the house, and they used to say that eggshells, you could nearly throw an eggshell at somebody and it wouldn't break in those days because the hens hit the white, the lime of the, of the, of the wall. Oh, yeah. It created a better shell for them. This, yeah. this is, so uh, we done all the research and we had it done. I'm very sad. I was hoping to we'll sit down and tell the people in, in um, Belfast, in Coltra, because I was very involved in Coltra how it would be done so they could do. But every yeah. area, you could build a house here and three miles down the road, it could be, do, it's a material well, that they yeah. use. Yeah. Some of them use flax. Yeah. Some of them use, and also inside the door, they hung, the, and you could do it today, they hung the mugs on the wall inside, which we yeah. did. And by looking, the old woman would shout down and said, what time is it? And then you, by the shadow on the mug, what, roughly what time of day it was. They might know it the, yeah. to the minute, yeah. but they were able to shout down. So in the folklore that you'd, that's why most of the walls in all the old buildings were two or three foot wide, as you could see. Now, in, the reason for the narrow window was because the, the rates on uh, the appeared was on the size of the window that you had. Yeah, that's right. You know, that yeah. moved down, that was all part of the whole thing. Yeah. And then they had the... Uh, um, then we done a research then and we found out in this cabin in way down Donegal that all the chairs and everything was like that tripod there. Had three legs. Would you know why everything had three legs? And not four legs. The reason for it is this, I don't want to go in the field now, but if you put uh, uh, something under that leg there, it won't rock. But if you put something under that chair, it'll rock. 
So three legs. Three legs. Mine yeah. is all level. Okay, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Most, most of the furniture. Yeah. People say, I'd say, why does a stool have three legs? For milking. That's the all yeah. say for milking. But the reason for it was the buyer was uneven. Yeah. So you didn't need three legs. Two legs eh? stuff. And where they had the, the stool, they had the stool and they had a hole in the stool. And the woman used to do knitting, could carry the stool from one place to another. That's what the, now they redo them for different things, you know what I mean? So uh, uh, the research for the, for the, the time, every, every year you had a different cabin. But the reason, if you said I built a cottage, you start off and you really knew you had plans and you had different things of how you want to wind up. But you, with a cabin, it could be material-wise. And all the people would get together. And I happened to be last month or two weeks. I was up in the Amish country, which I'll give you a copy of a, Pennsylvania. Of, of Pennsylvania. I'll give you a copy of the look at. And a lot of the places that, that survived, are surviving today, are, are the same as in Ireland. You know, the flail came from, from we used the flail uh, on various yeah. different things. Yeah. And that <laughs> come from, 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 from France. They didn't all originate from, 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 from Ireland. But the Dolby House in Mexico is built exactly the same system as we built the cottage. Only that they built rods up. Yeah. And rods and, and they threw the clay and they threw the cow manure up against it. But the cow manure if you have, see this ceiling is white now, mm -hmm. if you have a smoky place and it goes black, right? Mm -hmm. And we've done it in the bishops uh, in Coot Hill, or the pre in Coot Hill, Felix Morley Mean said to me, I was told how you, how you, you could, you could, you, you knew or somebody told you how you could white in the ceiling. If you got white paint and the ceiling was all, you had a grill in here, you're doing steaks and all got all grease. But if you've got a fresh comb in you, Fresh coming you and put it right over it and leave it. Come back and say and put a white. It would the grease would never come through the coming you. And that was one of the reasons. That was one of the ways they used to do it in the old days. When we were doing the cottage, we had a fella from Glen Gavin. An old fella wouldn't talk to nobody. Wouldn't. But he came in to see us anyway. And uh, this fella came. He said he was down at Red Hills, Red Hills, yeah. And there was a big lion on the pier and the fella hit it with a tractor and broke it and he said I wonder would any of you fellas know, I know you have been in this cottage, any of you know how you could um, repair this lane yeah. and this fella said I'll tell you what to do he said go he says go down and get the same stone go down to the pier with the same, oh, it's all the same stone and knock off a piece of it and chop it up like sand and, and put sulphur put it in the sulphur and boil it. And when you put the sulphur and the sand and put it together, and put the two together, he says, leave it for a while. When it weathers a bit, you'll, you'll not know the difference. So about, I didn't meet the fellow for a long time afterwards. And uh, I think it was Madden that owned the estate, came back and told me, at the beginning you could see it, but eventually, at the weather, there was. You know, a lot of people had old ideas. That was the way that, that people done on the, the, the build, that's how it is built, all joined by, by peg, there was no such thing as nails, yeah. there was no such yeah. thing as nails, yeah. and you had to use the material. Yeah. Now if you're out along a seaside place, or out along, you could build it with stones, but even in building the, the cabin with stones, there was ways, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. There was ways that the, the people had. Well actually, uh that's the reason why the, the interest in the cabin is, we, before we moved to Butler's Bridge, we used to live in an old attached house. Yeah, yeah. And it, was, it was a mud wall house. Part yeah. of it was, yeah. it was probably when it was built originally, it was two room, but the other half was built with stone. Oh, yeah. So there's a bedroom added on. And it was, then, it was an attached house. Attached house. And then they had different ways of heating it. They had a, 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 um, they had a certain stone that used to keep the heat, and they put the stone into the fire. And they'd roll it out and rub it and so put it for heating in the bed. That's, That's right, right. Yeah. 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 I remember hearing about that. And then they had the settled bed. You know the settled bed that opens out. The uh, and and I for went to California and the Castro convertible is based on the settled bed. You never see a settled bed that opens out. You can sit up and you can sit on it. It's yeah. a seat. 
and then they could open it out. You oh, open really? it out, and people yeah. can can uh, uh, you see when it, and uh, people can uh, sleep on it. The second yeah. bed was 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 the extra room in in in, in any house. Yeah. Just reworked, reworked, reworked yeah. yeah. And then they used to have a, uh, which they were talking to me about the new chapel here that they used to was a lot of the chapels that they redone. They took the copper of it, and and yeah. uh, they took the copper off the top of it. Well, if you got copper wire and put it in the water, it becomes bluestone, which is deadly oh, now, it's lead, it's deadly for a cold language to the killer. But yeah. they used to put the copper on top of the torches on top of different places. I put it on the on the on the World War cabin on top and when the rain had come that the it would wash the copper down slightly and would kill all the drug, all the you see That's what I heard about if you put the copper on top of your roof that's right you open the mouse. That's correct. That's right. Yeah. That is right, that yeah. is right. You put the copper, we don't know. It's just a thin layer. Thin, that's right. Yeah. It does two things. It does that. Yeah. And as well, with the thatch cottage, the boards will come and they tear it open. They tear big, new, that the drugs, that the, the, the maggots was there. And they oh. would go down, the boards would tear it open to get the maggots. But when the copper was on top, <laughs> no longer would the, would the, would the, would the, no longer would uh, uh, there be any maggots in it, so the board wouldn't interfere with it. And they didn't, yeah. like, they didn't like the taste of the, the, uh, copper. Uh, the copper anyway. Yeah. I know that it's, it's very hard to categorise our next guest. I called to his house one night about two years ago. Well, one morning, I generally call in the morning time, 1.30 a.m. Come in, he said, did you travel far? I said, I did, from Dublin. I must go back in the morning. Not at all, he said, you'll stay for three days. I've been coming back 12 times since to meet my good friend, Butler's Bridge good friend, John Clancy. We're here in a place of sheer magic and you attached cottage in Butler's Bridge in County Cavan. First of all, I want to ask you a few questions about what you have here. That, I believe, is a griddle pan there, is it? That's a griddle pan, yes. For making oaten bread. It's a griddle pan. You put over the fire and you make the oaten bread on that. And you would make it on such an open fire as that? You I would, suppose. yeah. Just put brown paper over the oaten bread. And in uh, indeed, in the old fireplaces, you were saying to me, they didn't have a crane as such. They no. really had a strut you only across. Had a strut across, a piece of timber right across there, as you can see there, and the chains hung on. Later on, the crew came after that. And uh, if we can sort of step out here now and look at, at the breast piece, what is that made of there? That breast was made of, of uh, sticks, as you can see, like a basket affair, all made of a basket, and it's all wooden. The whole chimney is wooden from the top up. And then you make a basket affair first, and then you co throw common urine and clay until you blind the whole basket from inside and outside. You keep throwing the common urine and clay, which is a mixture together, and then uh, you whiten it. You want plenty of cows, John, don't you? Plenty, uh, plenty of cows around here. I suppose there are. Now this, this piece of wood across under the breast piece. That's bog oak. That's all bog oak. Goes right through to the, to, to the, from one end to the other. Now, of course, John, this, this cottage, it looks an old cottage, but in fact, of course, it is not. No. It's only about three years old. And how did it come about? How did it happen? Well, we started to build a museum here, and first we started to build this cottage. And we, I wanted to build an old mud wall cottage. And I thought that uh, we started off to build it. We looked around to see and found out if anybody had built one. And we couldn't find any, anybody that had built one in the last number of years. We found a lot of them in the mountains, but we didn't find anybody who could really tell us how to build the outside wall with, with clay and rushes, without using any stones. No stones no at stones all? No stones at all. And how long did it take to build it? We made a lot of mistakes at the very beginning, mm. and uh, so we were talking to old people and, and, and we got different ideas. We got the wrong ideas at the beginning, and then we talked to different people and we finally found out how to do it. And um, what do you expect from it now? What do you hope to do with it? Well, we hope to open a museum, uh, and, 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 uh, and this will be one part of it, like, you know. And no. we, ho mm -hmm. we hope to open a museum, and that people will come and see the way that people lived, and uh, right up from, from uh, the middle of the last century, right up to up today. Bring it right up to date. Not just bef keeping. Before we talk about the museum, let's look at your open fire. The open fire, the hearth down on the floor. That's yeah. a very traditional fact. It is, life. yeah. It is. And a, no and, a, and a stone at the back. We can get everything for it. The only thing we're missing is crickets. Crickets. No more crickets in Ireland. We haven't found crickets in any part of Ireland. And the old people telling me if I keep using the turf, eventually the crickets will come back. They you say crickets, some people said they were lucky, more people said they weren't. The old people thought they were very lucky. 
Now, you have something else which looks like a gravestone here. What is that? Well, you see, this floor isn't, isn't completely finished yet. We have to get uh, clay and put the clay over it. It came too soon, like, you know, we haven't got it really finished yet. But what they used to do was, they used to, uh, used to get uh, a flat, open up a hole in the ground and put down horses' skulls and then put, uh, put uh, a flag across and dance on it. And then in later years, it was a big, big pot to put. And there's many stories about dancing on the hard stone. The horses' skulls were for echo, were they? For the echo, echo, yeah. Echo the machines and butters, which have you any hostile skulls down no, there? No, no, it's a big part we have under there. This is the sort of place that would delight a man like Sean Maguire to play on. That's obviously. right, that's correct, yes. Another thing I notice in the old houses too, they will always keep the horse's collar near the fire. They always kept the horse's collar, uh, they kept it dry. Kept always keep the, dry, keep the straw dry, Keep the straw dry, yes. Some kept you warm, keep the rain out. Do you know oh. that you're... Your father's uncle, uh, uncle, is he on, is his cart that's on the roof, in Butler Bridge. It's not still Tom. there. Still there, yeah. Tom. Still there. Tom. Tom. Tom is, yeah. Oh. He he, Bart said, come out one day because he was born everything. He born all the everything, everything, and 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 he. Uh, a lot. I, I was very pleased to be able to record, which would tra train him more. The robbers of the mill town. That was. Yeah, it was unique. Yeah. Unique. Yeah. Very unique, and 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 what's more too, it's very hard to record such genuine people as them. That's right. them you know, them yeah. men live for their work, yeah. And they wouldn't be trying to portray themselves as being known anything. You know no. what I mean? Yeah. They were so yeah. natural. And yeah. they said to me, they said to me, uh, when we, I, you knew, you knew the father, and I knew the no, father. No, I didn't know them. My no. mother, my father's mother came from very well, mm -hmm. and there was three farms in the one town land. The AOH Hall is part of it, the tree. And they had had the three three different farms. Now my father's mother came from one house and a brother and and uh, a brother and the wife lived there and when 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 he was dying he left the farm to my father. So I done a bit of investigation. In thirty acres that five people working on the land. And they had, it was all drained, piped to the lake. And there was a bathroom, and yeah, they pumped the water up to the tank, and there was an altar and everything in the house. And I was wondering where did all the money come from? Where would they get the money? To be able to do all this. To be able to do all this. Yeah. When, at the town hall, you know the town hall in Milton is, you might know that. Yeah, the hall is at the foot of the hill. I know where it is. On the way going into where your ancestors came from. Oh, oh, yeah. There was a lady there in Oria yeah. Fitzpatrick. It was like the creamery up there. Yeah. 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 The creamery up. And she left £8,600 oh. to the nuns in Maltorba in 18 something. Where did she get that money? Now, that's what I'm asking. Now, right? that's so, all we could get from Packy Thornton was money, money. Everywhere, where money was, she didn't, she only left part of her money there. And by leaving part of her money there, I objected to them selling the convent in Victoria, but I got nowhere. Because when somebody gives money to be used for something, and no longer becomes something, like the school down here down the road, we won't go into that, at Lake, it reverts back to the people that owns the land. Yeah. Because they give it. Yeah. So, so the, 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 this lady left eight thousand. That was only was a series. That was, that was only part of our money. Part of our money. So, my brother now and I went to find out, and we went to the Robinsons about maybe ten years ago. And the Robinsons told me that way back they were told that the Fitzpatricks came back from America, and the Fitzpatricks. He just mentioned the name, but not any name. But he said, but finally came back, and these were in Salt Lake City, and they started the Mormon Committee. Yeah. With, the, yeah. with the Mormon Committee. Yeah. And they fell out and they came back, and they built a Mormon church in Butler Street, around Butler Street somewhere, and they had three of them around Milton. And they came back with a fortune of money. Mm -hmm. And that's the only. So the that. only thing I could I couldn't get any details. Well, so they probably mm. married into some rich, yeah. and that the church in in uh, the Abbey Church, Abbey in 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 Milton, Drumlane, Drumlane, Drumlane Abbey, that the 
there was a, and um, it was blowing into the was during the troubles that the Bamal must have took a white elephant. That's right, and that the yeah. bell was still in the lake. In the lake, you heard that? Yeah, my father used to say that. Yeah, the, the, the bell was still yeah. still in the lake. It was very nervous. Yeah, yeah into the silt in the lake. Yeah. And there was three farms. There was Fitzpatrick's and Henry Fitzpatrick, and there was McGavin's. And to this day, dates back, it was uh, uh, squatters' rights. To this day. Nobody had the right to live in in in. in now, but if you're long enough in it, they couldn't put you out. No, we put 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 you out. So that was where where the. It is interesting to for the Robinsons, yeah. but the Robinsons had more knowledge, and I tried to get different people to sit down and and record. But the nearest thing I could get was was uh, the Hands program, and he 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 when they would spend a lot of time. And I knew that the time was come that that you know. Even today, people can still look at the. Yeah, they're in the library, I think. The hands mm. CDs. Yeah, I have, I have them all. Yeah, but it's, 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 it, and they got, and the, and the. They're still on Radio Ireland for the beauty. Yeah, but you get an apple of a tree. Yeah, yeah. And bring it in. It's not and put it. Yeah. And the only where they used to keep the apples years ago was in a hay shed. Straw. Straw. Yeah. straw. Yeah. If you put apples into a, if you put apples into hay, and leave them in there, they ripe and save. Yeah. In hay shed, and I was telling yeah. the fellow in Cork today that. Remember the last time I was here, a fellow came to buy hay of, of, of your father and he brought a goat. I said, well, what the name of Jesus is bringing the goat for? He wouldn't feed the goat all day and he'd bring the goat and the goat would go round the shed and the goat, he wanted hay for a horse and the goat would go round the shed and when the goat would start to eat, that's where he'd buy the hay. 